what um what is, so what is the process now uh, before we <clears throat> when you when we, and talking about the method in, is essentially so when you played in that Scorsese movie to work with him mm-hmm. you know what were his expectations that's a pretty sparse movie it's you you go in with everything you imagine you would go in yeah. with, with total excitement trepidation uh-huh. pinching yourself yeah awareness of how lucky you are that you're one of the handful of people that has gone to work with the american masters mm-hmm. of cinema mm-hmm. and historian of cinema yeah well you sp- have you sp- you've hung no, with him you spoken with him him? nope you'd have a great time with him because sure. it's just fun he's like a funny yeah dude that i've knows, seen him talk yeah knows a lot about movies yeah and knows a lot about history and knows sure. a lot about culture and people and just loves being a person he's yeah. like it's just hilarious he's almost he kind of is he's like the most jewish italian american that you've ever kind of come across yeah there's definitely a a a, 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 re- a relationship there. sure yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure a similarity yeah um so so i went i went in with all of that and and that was dispelled pretty quickly because of who he is because he's just very disarming and very ordinary w- yeah. w- with all of his extraordinariness but then i had a i gave myself a year i gave myself a year to study with him study with a, an incredible Jesuit priest in New York called Father James Martin, huh. who's a writer, uh-huh. a fantastic Jesuit, Jesuit spiritual writer, yeah, and a great man. And he became my kind of friend and spiritual director for a year. And I just studied Catholicism. I studied um, the thing called the spiritual exercises. So this is really interesting for for nerds um, like me and you, I think. So there's a through line to all of this. So the Ignatian spiritual exercises were a series of exercises that were created by St. Ignatius of Loyola back in the 1400s, I believe, 1500s maybe. Um, I'm not good with dates, but yeah. I'm, I'm good with other things. I And, and it's basically a, a 31-day retreat that you do where you actively meditate on the life of Jesus Christ and you place yourself using your imagination into every single stage and scene and moment of the life of Christ from his inception to his resurrection. And it's, but, but it's, it's, it's more than just sitting and thinking you are actively imaginatively creating a relationship with Christ through a series of prompts and questions. And you end up, you end up in a pretty deep space and uh, I was guided through this by this um, this amazing priest, Father James Martin. And it's a transformational process. Like I had a relationship with an imagined Christ in my head by the time I had finished this this retreat. And you didn't grow up with Christ? No, not yeah. at all. I, I grew up with you know an awareness. I mean, how do you sure, avo- sure. how do you avoid get, Christ? Get, no, I get it, but, <laughs> but, no, but, but no, you weren't. I didn't you, have a relationship with him. You at weren't all. Jesus. Duh. No, I wasn't <laughs> Jesus. Um, and and you know what I discovered? I discovered. That Stanislavski, the invent, yeah. the, the creator of method, method acting, yeah. based and was inspired by Saint Ignatius's spiritual exercises to create his method of acting by imaginatively entering circumstances so fully that you feel like you've lived them cellularly. But do you know that historically, or are I you do. making an no, assumption? No, I know that historically. It's documented. It's documented. No shit. And you know what else? What? Um, Bill. Who created the twelve steps? Yeah, was he created the twelve steps with a Jesuit priest, and it was based on the Oxford group. It was based on Saint Ignatius spiritual oh, really? exercises. Yeah, and also, so that the, well, I think they came from originally from something called the Oxford group, which was a Christian thing, which oh. may have based it on that. Yeah, I don't know about that, but yeah, yeah. But, but I know that sense. Bill's buddy was a Jesuit, and he was like, check out these uh, spiritual exercises, and and maybe this can be inspiring. Uh huh. And they created the twelve steps out of them. To, it's like, yeah. So, so, th- so I, I got to do the kind of the brass tacks, foundational, spiritual work of 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 what is. And and, and Ignatius was really interesting because he was a soldier. He was a warrior, and not religious or spiritual at all. And he got wounded in battle, and he was bedridden for I think maybe a year, a year and a half. Mm. And in that time, the only books that he had were these Catholic texts. And he had this spiritual awakening from just being completely, um, I don't know, waylaid and mm. limited by by this this injury. So you had to. So you went through this the process yeah. of what Jesuit priests go through yeah. to, to kind of get in the zone of it, and it yeah. worked. And, and it coincided. It worked, and, and I was, and I, and I acted <laughs> as a Jesuit. As <laughs> yeah, but I mean, no, but like it, it worked. But in it the coincided sense of, with the method as well. Totally, it was. It was just. 
the whole thing was a, revelatory. I don't know if it worked, but yeah. it worked for me. Sure. It, wor- it worked in a very beautiful kind of. I I I I'm I had an incredibly spiritual experience, and combined with that, I did I did a bunch of spiritual practices every day that 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 I created new rituals for myself. I I was celibate for six months. I wow. I was um I you know and fasting a lot because me and Adam had to lose a bunch of weight anyway, so it yeah. kind of added up. So there was all these spiritual kind of practices that we got to do while we were praying, meditating, and you know had having the, all the intentions that we had as the, as those characters wow it was very cool man i had some pretty wild trippy experiences from starving myself of sex and food for that period of time of course yeah well, your brain's got to do something <laughs> when you don't we're not when you're not satisfying into that dopamine it's gonna go somewhere else it gives you some gifts for sure yeah